It's spooky season. Hi everybody, today I will be doing a Jack Lantern Halloween makeup tutorial. So if you want to get this look, keep on watching! Hello everybody, it's Fresh Faced Christine here. Here I am using an oil-based makeup palette. I got this off of Amazon for probably $25. Next I'm showing my Morphe palette here. You can use any standard orange eyeshadow that you have. The first step is to draw a black outline of where you want your jack-o'-lantern shape to be. And after that, you want to start with a base layer of orange. It's important to put on some moisturizer before starting this makeup as without the moisturizer it could stain your face or just take a little bit extra time removing. I'm going in with a smaller brush and we're doing the details so we're gonna start with the eyebrow. I originally start with the natural shape of my eyebrow where I decide to switch to makeup brushes. I originally was afraid to stain my brushes but I thought I could get better detail with actually using gold eyeliner brush. So here I am starting to draw that upwards curve. I think this just makes the Jack o Lantern face look a little bit more sinister. Next I'm going in and starting the triangle over my eye. I'm just freehanding it all. A good tip is to remember that your eye is curved or your eyelid is curved so straight lines on curves look like curves and curved lines on curved shapes look like straight lines so it's important as you're doing this to keep looking back into the mirror you'll notice later if you look at me from the side it'll look curved but from a straight on perspective the lines will look straighter so once we have our triangle shape, we're going to go ahead and fill that in. Now I'm going in with black underneath my eye and joining the triangle to it. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it just depends on where you want the triangle to be on your face. Looking back at this, if I could redo it, I would probably make the triangle a little bit narrower. As I go, I am trying to clean up the edges more and more and make straighter looking lines. I'm also trying to make it as black as possible to contrast with the orange and make it look sharper. So now that I'm happy with the eye, we are going to start doing the nose. Again, it's going to be a triangle. Here, the nose is even more curved than the eye, so the curved line across the curved nose looks like a straight line. At this point, I look like Tony the Tiger, but you gotta just trust the process. So you'll notice that when my head is tipped downwards, the nose does not look straight, it looks more like an animal's nose, but when I put my head straight forward, that's when it looks like a straight line. I decided I didn't love my eye so much, so I'm drawing another black line underneath my eye and making the triangle larger and filling that in. Next, I am filling in my lips completely in black. You don't technically need to do this, um, you can go straight into drawing the teeth. If you go straight into the drawing of the teeth, you might have like a nicer looking jack-o'-lantern mouth. But if you're gonna be eating or talking or using your lips a lot, it might get smudged. So if you make your lips all black, as the black fades away throughout the night, you can just touch it up by filling it in instead of going back and trying to go in with orange and black to fix it. I'm just doing little triangles with the black and connecting it to the black on my lips. I'm making these triangles in different sizes because messed up teeth, now that's scary. So I am taking these teeth beyond my natural lip line and up towards the smiley crease and out towards the sides. I 
I'm starting to make my smile bigger and bigger. You can go as big or as small as you want to go. I think the bigger it is, the scarier it is. The fun part about scary costumes is it doesn't have to look pretty. If you screw up and it looks ugly, it might add to it. So I make sure the edges of my smile have that larger triangle going outwards from it. I feel like that's very signature of a jack-o'-lantern smile. Now I'm going in with a brown. If you don't have a brown, you can just make sure there's barely any black on your brush or you can mix some orange with the black. We're making curves down our face just like you would see on pumpkin ridges. You want all of these curves to curve inwards, making that part of your face look more like a pumpkin. So now I'm taking that same brush and I'm just going around the edges. I'm just blending it in a bit because it's starting to smudge anyways. We're going to go over this with fine detail later. Now I've switched back to that angled makeup brush. I went in with the black and we're just going to start carving out that detail around the edges to make it look poppin'. Here you can see I'm starting to curve down and I'm just going to draw like what might be the natural curve of a pumpkin. So it's going to curve down towards that pumpkin ridge we drew earlier. And we're going to repeat that all around to match up with all the pumpkin ridges. On the edge of my face where there aren't really much ridges, I kind of did a sharp curve reminiscent of when you kind of smash a pumpkin. So here I'm just going down underneath that triangle I, I created and making a downwards triangle into the pumpkin ridge. I think it just makes it blend a lot more and give a lot more shape to the pumpkin. And we are going back sharpening everything up. So here I'm detailing up top. I decided to change the shape a little bit and I made a little mistake and it doesn't look as round anymore but the sharpness makes it look a little bit more sinister and that cracked pumpkin vibe. I'm making these creepy smiles while I'm doing this makeup I just want to see what it looks like when I smile for the end product. So next, I'm just going to go in with translucent setting powder. I'm using a NYX one here. I would recommend that you use powder because it's just going to set the product or else all that oil-based makeup isn't going to dry. I also recommend starting in the orange parts and then making your way towards the black part. I didn't do this here, but it's a learning experience. Do as I say and not as I do. So because I screwed up and I got some black in the orange, I'm going over that part with some orange. You shouldn't really put liquid again over powder and then you'll have to set it again and it might get cakey, but I'm doing it anyways. So now we're going to work on the other eye. I'm just using a orange eyeshadow. This eyeshadow turns out to be much more red than orange and I didn't have anything any more orange so we just kept going with it. I'm kind of just working on a cat eye shape. You can kind of make any shape you want. I'm just taking in that orangey red and I'm following the contours of the natural curve of my eye. So here I actually picked up my Urban Decay Heat Palette. I'm trying to go in with something that looks more like an orange, but it's equally as red and is pretty much the same color, so do as you will, folks. Next I'm going in with some liquid eyeliner. I'm just using this liquid eyeliner pen by Elf. If you don't have this, you can just use an angled brush and makeup used for face painting. So I'm just starting in on the upper lid and doing a somewhat of a winged liner. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and tight lining my waterline. You don't have to do this, but it just might make your eye pop a bit more. Also, I recommend a waterproof pencil or else it's just going to smudge away as your eyes water, like mine do. Now I'm going in with the 
eyeliner pen again and starting to do the triangle on this eye. I end up going with a much smaller triangle, but I think it's okay that it's asymmetrical because like I said, it adds to that creepy look. So now we're just gonna do the bottom part and kind of make it look like the other side. So I'm just going back in and adding more eyeshadow to make it really pop. Now I'm going in with that black eyeliner pencil again and filling in my eyebrow. I could have used the line or I could have used the oil based makeup. I didn't make this eyebrow as dramatic because it's on the cute side of my face and not the creepy side of my face. And last but not least, we have lashes. I use magnetic lashes because I cannot put regular lashes on. I'm using some magnetic lashes I got off of Amazon. I'm just doing a thin line across my waterline, letting it dry, applying a second line over top of that, and then applying my lashes. I decided to pick these really big spaced out lashes. I think they are a bit more dramatic looking and I would never ever wear them in any other circumstance. I actually forgot to curl my lashes. I usually do that before I put on false lashes. Big smile, because I am all done. <laughs> I hope you liked my jack-o'-lantern makeup tutorial. Thank you for watching, and stay spooky.